Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about 10 legendary players you need to know in LA Lakers history. LA Lakers are a huge and a successful franchise, and in their success they had a lot of great players. And you probably know the most famous ones like Kobe, Shaq, Wilt, Kareem, and Magic Johnson. But today on our list we will have some different names, starting with Elgin Baylor. Elgin Baylor was one of the most exciting players in the NBA history. He was feared by NBA coaches because he could do anything on the court. With his classic running back shots, Baylor was unstoppable. Even though unfortunately he didn't win a title until his final season with the Lakers, Baylor's dominant offensive game inspired a generation of Laker fans and players. Unfortunately, Elgin Baylor died in March of 2021. Next one we have on our list is Jerry West. The logo himself, Jerry West, is an all-time great player and an all-time Laker. Despite his illustrious career, West only won one championship with the Laker organization. But no one can doubt about Jerry West's dedication to the team. Even though he wasn't that fortunate about the NBA titles, he was a great player. Most of the younger people would know him as a GM, making master trade moves and finding Kobe Bryant when he was 18 years old. The impact that Jerry West has on the NBA and the Lakers is grand, so that's why we had to put him on our list. Next one we have on our list is James Wardy who was an essential to the success of the Showtime Lakers. He was very, very important for the successful Lakers championship runs in 87 and 88. Perworthy led the team in scoring. He could score efficiently at any point on the court and would come in clutch when the team was resting Kareem or Magic Johnson. Also, he would create a very big problem with matchups, so he would be a complete nightmare for the opposing coaches. Next one we have on our list is Michael Cooper. Michael Cooper is considered by many to be the best defensive player of his era. In that time, he was the antidote to the likes of Larry Bird. Cooper held his own, neutralizing Larry Bird enough for the Showtime Lakers to dominate the late 80s. Cooper was a fan favorite as well, as he stopped Bird on countless drives to the basket. He was one of those players that was all on defense. So it's not a surprise that he was an 8-time all-defensive team player, and one of the greatest defenders in Lakers history. He is one of those players for which you can't really look at the statistics. Averaging around 9 points throughout his career, he was a key reason to Lakers success on the defensive side. Next player we have on our list is George Mikan. George Mikan was one of the most dominant players of his era. George Mikan dominated with his 6'10 height, playing literally above anyone else. Mikan averaged over 26 points per game for multiple seasons and used his height to become a defensive menace for any offense. Now, most of the NBA fans wouldn't know about him, as back when he was playing in the 50s, the Lakers weren't in Los Angeles, but actually in Minneapolis. He also accomplished something that a lot of people didn't do at that time, and that is to win three consecutive titles in the NBA, making the first ever three-peat. And also, we gotta say his nickname is pretty cool. George Mikan was nicknamed Mr. Basketball. Next one we have on our list is AC Green. Lakers fans should appreciate Green for always showing up to play. Hailed as the NBA's first Iron Man player, Green held the record for most games played in a row at 1,192 straight games. Green was always great off the glass, finishing in the top 10 in offensive rebounds per game. His consistent presence in every game helped the Lakers overcome injuries and bring the team to three straight NBA titles. To me, the most craziest thing about this player is that he played 1,200 games in a row. Now that's some serious dedication. Next one we have is Eddie Jones. Eddie Jones was a fan favorite in the late 90s. Jones was a high flyer whose abilities to intercept passing lanes led to amazing transition dunks. He was always in the right place at the right time on offense to make timely jump shots. 
Overall, the two-time All-Star and All-Defensive Team player made huge contributions to the late 90s Lakers squad. One more interesting fact about his career is that he loved to steal the ball, having around two steals per game throughout his career. Next player we have is Michael Thompson. Michael Thompson, father of Klay Thompson, was a crucial role player on the Lakers in 87 and 88 title team. Thompson provided the defensive energy to neutralize the historically great Celtics frontcourt of McHale, Bird, and Parrish. Now, even though a lot of people remember the Kareems, the Wilts, role players as Michael Thompson are also very, very important, as Thompson's presence as a backup helped to solidify their own frontcourt and elevate the team to two championships. And also, because his dad played for the Lakers, Maybe there is a chance of Clay playing at least one season for the Lakers? Hmm, it would be interesting. Next name we have on our list is Slater Martin. Slater Martin was a staple on the defensive end for the Minnesota Lakers. While not the most athletically gifted guard, Martin had a knack for intercepting passing lanes. He was the scrappy Matthew Delevadova or Patrick Beverly at the time, beloved by his teammates but despised by the opposing teams. He was that classic dog of the team. Later Martin was simply relentless in attacking the ball and ultimately contributed to four championships for the Lakers. Now, before we get to the last name, we would kindly ask you guys to subscribe to the channel with post notifications on. So click that bell on so you don't miss any of the future videos. Now, as we mentioned, we won't say any of the most famous Laker players like Kareem, Wilt, Magic Johnson and others. But we will give some roses to some very important legendary players that don't get as much recognition, like Bob McAdoo. Bob McAdoo was one of the best shooting big men of all time proving key for the golden age of Showtime Lakers. While McAdoo never started for the Lakers, he averaged over 10 points per game in a bench role. Nowadays, it's becoming more and more common to see centers who are good at shooting the ball. But Bob McAdoo definitely knew how to do that. And to show you that he wasn't just an average bench player, we can tell you that during his early 20s, he won three scoring titles. In one season, even scoring 35 points per game, which is absolutely crazy. Joining the likes of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Wilt Chamberlain and Michael Jordan. He gave up from scoring a lot of points to becoming a role player, giving it all to the Lakers nation. We hope you guys learned about some old but very important players in the LA Lakers history. Let us know which is your favorite LA Lakers legend who is not as famous as Kobe, Kareem or Wilt. We are definitely interested to hear your opinion. We hope you have a wonderful day. We will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.